Hi, I'm Joanne Wolsey with Jimbo Sarsery, and we're located in Santa Fe, Texas. And we're down from Rangi Park, if you're familiar with Santa Fe. And we have been visitors for since 1975, and uh, we are a wholesale nursery and retail nursery. Um, since the storm came in, a lot of people are wondering what to do with their with their landscaping. So what you need to do is first kind of wait, um, assess what you have going on, look around, and what you need to do is make sure you're going to water your plants and make sure that they've got good water to them. And then what you're going to do, the palms, most of you have already done that, trimmed off your palm leaves. If something's gooky and gooky, go ahead and trim the tops off of those. And then what you're going to need to do is just wait. And then what you can do is go pull your weeds. Um, and trim up every, don't trim anything yet until you know we're not gonna have any more cold. And I think we're about at that point right now. And what you'll do is as you're trimming, start looking for green. If there's green coming up, there's hope. If there's not, just hold on and just keep the watering going on. Landscaping for us for, for Southeast Texas, the best time is probably for March till about end of May. And then also in the, in the fall, if you come back in the fall, like in September through November, as long as you get the plants in there early enough to get the roots established, they'll do well. But, but during our heat of the summer, you can plant some things like palms do well, but mainly you want to put plants in that you can get established in, and get watered in that they can take our heat during the summertime. So spring is probably your ideal time. But um, if you want to wait a little bit and bring them in late at the end of the spring, you can do that also. So after, the, you, after you assessed everything and you want to start landscaping again, then you'd make a decision. Do you want to go back with the same stuff? Do you want to have the colorful, tropical look? And, and do you want to mix in some things that maybe are going to be green all the time, uh, your evergreen plants? Do you want to have plants that you know that when it does freeze, that you'll have some greenery coming back? Unfortunately with those, they usually don't have flowers to them. A lot of people don't like that because they want some pop going in there. So understand there are some plants like salvias and lantanas that you could put in there that will help out to let the plants come up and do well in it. Um, Plant-wise, a lot of people like coming in with the hibiscus. Um, they're finding out that a lot of the hibiscus aren't coming back. So you have to kind of decide on what plants you want to put in. Um, Plant-wise, you might want to decide that you want some anchor plants. Those are going to be your greenery that'll make it through the winter time. And then you want to come back in maybe with some color because everybody likes color, makes your house look good. So what you'll do is you can come in and find some things that did make it for the winter time. We did have some gardenias that did really well for the, in the cold. Um, so kind of look around now, whose plants made it, whose didn't, and that's your decision on what you want to bring back in. So some great low maintenance plants and flowers are, if you like roses, and they did really great in the, the, the cold. They're called drift roses, they'll drift out, you barely have to mess with them. Lantanas are pretty easy, they seem to be coming back. They're ones you can just let go, you might only have to trim it one, once or twice a year. But there's quite a few plants like um, foxtail ferns, they're easy, they, they're a good accent plant, they come up, they're green, they have a different sort to them. But there's quite a few plants out there that are really easy that we now have um, available. Um, there are some ones that are going to be more temperamental that, that you want to kind of stay away from. Just ask when you come out and uh, if you ask about if something's low maintenance or not, we will help you out with that too. We'd like to invite everybody to come out that's an Amico member and come out and purchase your plants or anything you need out here. Uh, we'd like to extend to the, those Amico members to be able to use their credit cards, their debit cards, to get a 10% discount on any purchase of plants they have when you come out. So um, come on out, we can help you out, make your yard look nice and shine up your whole, um, your subdivision, make it look good again and just feel happy again because the spring is here. <laughs>